Hey guys, what's up? Michael Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about um, interface layout or web design website layout and give you a, a grid system that I use and just or just talk about the grid system that I use for all my websites and just show you how this system can be used for pretty much every site that um, that you built today that you put together. And I'm going to walk you through a few of these sites here and show you how each of these sites use the same system. And what I'm talking about is this wireframe here, this framework here, where um, this top portion here where you see logo navigation, this is your header section. This is what I call the header section. So every website can use this layout here where you have a header section and you have your logo on the left and your navigation on the right. Uh, below that you're going to have a billboard section. And the billboard section is, think of the billboard section like a billboard. It's the area where you're going to promote basically your products and services um, for the website, for your business in this area. So the billboard, you think of it like a billboard. This is this can change uh, weekly, daily, however you want to design this section. Just think of it as a billboard. It could be a revolving billboard. It could be, um, you know, dynamic or whatnot. And uh, below that, below the billboard, you're going to have your body content. So you can break it up into three parts, which I have here, or you can have one, one, uh, one, one uh, row or one column, or you can break it up into two columns. Totally up to you. Then you're gonna have your footer. Okay, so you have header, billboard, you have your content, and you have footer. So let's go over to this site. Here's Bigger Fish. This is a startup company that I was working on in 2007, uh, and I put this together. Um, still up and running, but we actually haven't done anything with it. But you see, we up the top portion here. Um, we have we have a header. So you have your logo, navigation bar on the right, and then obviously you have your billboard. And actually this, this homepage doesn't have any content, just a few logos, and then your footer below it. Okay, let's go over to Harvest. Now, Harvest, I didn't design this site, I just found this site on the net. Just a clean, uh, sort of corporate look and feel. But here in the top portion, black and orange, you have you have the header, you have a logo. In this case, they you can have the, the navigation bar um, below the logo. That works as well. And as long as it's within this header section. And then below that, you see this is your billboard. Okay, nice billboard, some content, a uh, nice green button there, a nice graphic. And then look at this. Below the billboard, you have your body content so you they broke it up in three parts one two three and then below that you can stack more content and then or and even more content here and then below your content there you have your footer okay so it's really simple it's header billboard content and then footer at the very bottom let's go over this site called timey again a different design very different than bigger fish and harvest but same structure and framework up at the top you just have your logo and your nav below that this entire area would be considered your billboard and below that you have body copy in this case they broke it up into two columns and then you have your footer at the very bottom. Let's go over to the famous Apple Store or just the famous Apple website. So look at what they have at the top here. Logo on the left, navigation on the right. You have your billboard here, your nice famous big billboard. They have a large billboard so that's very long. So like in my example here, I normally keep it about 250 to 300 in height um, and but for Apple they use this entire section which you can do as well okay so this is their billboard 
and, and you see they have content here at the bottom below the billboard which they broke up into four sections one two three four and then the footer so it's really simple here is a site that I built for um, a company I work for Fox audience network you got logo in this case navigation bar is below you have your you have your billboard okay and then you have your three sections three body content sections one two three and then your footer and moving on to the last site is my my ML web consulting site so up at the top here you see is my header logo navigation bar I even have some links up at the top but this is still considered my header section below that I have my billboard section some copy graphic and then below that I have body content one two three four five six I actually stacked three and three and then you have your footer at the bottom okay so as you can see this framework is very simple and it's proven it's tested that it can work for pretty much any any site any uh, any industry any vertical and the creativity is up to you what you want to do within these sections within these containers if you know what I mean so um, so I would recommend if you're just starting out in web design or if you're looking for for you know your design um, you're still working on on uh, your groove and, and trying to figure out how you're going to design things or the best approach for designing websites um, I would I would recommend starting with this framework and then going from there and seeing how things work out alright so think of it header billboard body copy footer keep it simple clean straightforward and um, you'll be putting out good work alright so uh, shoot me an email let me know if you have any questions in regards to any of what I just covered and uh, I can go into to each section more detail with you uh, if if, uh, if need be. All right. Hopefully that was helpful and um, look out for more videos. Please rate, um, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and uh, look out for more videos. Okay. We'll be talking soon. Goodbye.